Hey, welcome back to another edition of High Performance Living, a little newscast here for you, the TouchCast. And to, this week we're actually talking about nutrition and specifically breakfast. So on Monday, we pose the question, what do you eat for breakfast each day? And really that brings out the, the thought process of, are you really setting yourself up for a proper uh, day to to be mentally prepared and to get through your day the most optimally that you can. So with that we have quote for the week and then what do you eat for breakfast each morning. So with that we have our here's our list. So each week we do a list of our top five things and this week is ways that breakfast are going to prepare you for success for your day. Number one um, remember that breakfast is the most important meal of the day not to mess up. So this is kind of the way to set you up for the full day. You know, you get up in the morning, have a good meal, um, and kind of get you geared up and have the right nutrients going to get you through your full day. Absolutely. So number two, proteins and fats are key. Anymore, it's everybody thinks about breakfast being coffee, their toast, maybe a piece of fruit, and out the door they go. And what they don't realize is that it's the proteins and fats that really set you up for success. The good fats that come from eggs, uh, some other good pastured pork, uh, bacon, things like that, as well as avocados, some really good quality uh, nutrition for your morning will allow you to have a great full day of thinking. So third is kind of a follow-up to this, essentially making sure that you're not using um, terribly high carbohydrate foods as your initial fuel for the day. So although fruits uh, and a lot of grains, the cereals and things are um, what get depicted in a lot of commercials um, as the breakfast item, they may not be the thing that will do best for you as far as getting you through your full morning. Um, and oftentimes, if that is your meal, you'll end up feeling hungry a whole lot sooner. Um, then if you have a bit fuller breakfast with a lot more of the fats uh, and protein in it as well. And number four is making sure that your coffee is high performance. We understand that as professionals, most people are drinking some type of caffeine or, or coffee. And in the United States, about 94% of our caffeine is actually has mold. And mold is really a neurotoxin and it will create a lot of issues for you and, and your ability to think properly. So making sure that you have a good high quality coffee and that's usually an organic coffee. We actually use something that's called upgraded uh, beans and they are a very special bean that have that are certified as mold free and that is uh, our high performance coffee. Um, and the final tip, the number five uh, on the you know what do you eat for breakfast and kind of how you set yourself up um, is sort of near and dear to my heart, the idea of kind of prior planning. So um, for me, I tend to want to get up in the morning. I don't like to rush, um, and so I like to have things sort of planned out beforehand. What am I, what am I going to be eating, or what am I, uh, you know, kind of already um, thinking about for that next morning? So again, just kind of prior planning a little bit with your shopping uh, in preparation for your breakfast the next morning. Those are things I think that can, um, again, just help set, sort of set you up in a positive light for the rest of the day. So in uh, review, breakfast is the most important meal of the day to not screw up. Yeah. Yeah. And the proteins and fats are key in your day. Mm -hmm. um, avoid the high carb foods for breakfast, especially. Um, that's the next one. Right. And then number four is, um, you know, if you're going to utilize a coffee um, or tea, even um, try to make sure it's as healthy as it can be. And again, uh, low toxin would be ideal. Right. And number five is prior plan out your breakfast. Just makes it easy. You get up, you're ready to go, and you want to be successful for the day. So if you already got it planned out, then your day is starting off successful. Yep. So, so with that, um, one of the things you can do now is you can follow us on Twitter at High Perf Living. Also, you can hit us up on Facebook. So at Facebook, we're at High Perf Living dot, or just High Perf Living. So until next time, we'll see you next week. Thank you.